What's up guys, welcome to the channel. We're back to the channel. Uh, today is day 84 of my 120. So, still no luck with the, the AirPod. Uh, didn't try vacuuming it. And it, it actually, as much as I put my hand in that hole and splashed water around, the drain ended up being, uh, if you guys don't know, I lost my AirPod down one of the drains yesterday. One of the ship's drains, the scuppers. So, anyways, I ended up, it had rained the day before, actually no, the night the night of the morning that I dropped it in, it had rained. So the drain was completely full of water when the AirPod went in. <sighs> With my attempts, my four attempts of getting it out, I think I got about a foot of water out of the drain and it rained again last night. So drain's full again, still no AirPod. Um, and you know, yesterday's video, I think I mentioned, uh, mentioned, I mentioned another video of bringing two of all the essentials. So I didn't have two pairs of AirPods, but I do have two sets of Bluetooth headphones. These are usually the ones I bring out on deck when I'm working. Uh, they're a little more robust. They got this nice little wire, so they wrap around me, unlike AirPods. But luckily, I do have two sets of headphones, Bluetooth headphones. Um, sadly, I can't find my wire ones. I usually have like a pair of cord headphones. Can't find them. Um, on another note of bringing essential things, when you get here, there's certain non-essential items. This is today's discussion, ladies and gentlemen. When you get to the ship, you'll find there's... This isn't essential, but you'll find it's, you know, it's one... What is it? What's the saying? All for one and one for all. There's gonna be certain things in the galley, per se, and tools that, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna learn out here. People do not like sharing. Okay, that's the point of what I'm trying to say. People do not like sharing. Uh, when it comes to tools, you know, as, as a deck guy, an AB, um, needle guns, wire wheels, you know, any type of tools, uh, brushes, paint brushes, paint rollers. There was a time here before where nobody really cared what we got because it was kind of, you know, junky here and there. But then it turned into, you know, one of them would go out, so we had to replace it with a new one. Well, that became the best one, needle gun or whatever, and then it would disappear. And then the boatswain would be like, well, we're short a needle gun, but we weren't. Somebody would usually hide the good one and keep it for themselves. Same thing happened with the rollers. Um, I, I, I'll admit I was part of the roller hiding gang for a little while because the, the mates, the third mate and the second mate at the time, um, or maybe it was the engine room. But either way, we had, you know, we would clean our rollers and clean our brushes when we're done using them. And either the second mate or the third mate or whoever the engine department was coming up to use our paint rollers, paint brushes, they either wouldn't clean them at all and they just like leave them out. So they get all the paint would dry and the rollers would be junk or they would just throw them in the buckets of thinner and it would gunk up the thinner, the brushes and rollers still wouldn't be clean. So 
we all ended up starting to hide our own rollers because we were running out of rollers and brushes and they weren't getting cleaned. So people started hiding their own because they would clean their own. And that's, you know, that was that. Um, now, I'll admit, I do it. I do, I do it. Because it's, you gotta, you know, you're fending for yourself out here when it comes to certain things. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you this first because this is what sparked this video. That's right, uh oh. That's right. Little French Vanilla De Delight Creamer. Okay, now yesterday, I didn't quite fall asleep right away, you know? I haven't been sleeping very well, or I should say, I've been sleeping well. I haven't been sleeping very much. I've been going to bed between four and five o'clock, uh, even later, like six o'clock, between four and six o'clock, uh, which only gives me like four hours of sleep. Five, if I'm lucky. Oh, my neck. Oh. Yesterday, though, I think it was about 4.30. I, uh, I was hungry. Which is, 4.30 is my bedtime, if you guys don't know. I get off at noon, and I have to be back at work at 12. So, 3 o'clock used to be my bedtime. Now, it's whatever. I was 4.30, I was hungry, I went down, started eating some food, ate some cereal, I'm looking around, scavenging for food, and I did not see these little French vanilla creamers down there. I did not see them, and I was looking all over the snack area, because I was eating stuff up. I had granola bars, potato chips, cereal, I was eating stuff up yesterday, okay? The box of these French vanillas were not there. Now, this morning, and that would have been 4.30, dinner's at 5, these were not there at 5 o'clock. So unless they got put out right after I left, or right after dinner, um, at 2 a.m., I started work at 12 a.m., at 2 a.m., I came inside to make me some coffee. Get me some coffee, eat, eat a little snack. I look over and I see a box of these French vanilla creamers. Now, personally, my morning coffees, I tend to drink just straight black coffee, no nothing, no, sh no sugar, no creamer. But at five to seven a.m., which is technically like my midday, I like to have some iced black coffee. And mattering how I'm feeling, I'll throw some sugar and milk into my iced black coffee, which I guess is not black coffee anymore. I'll make iced coffee around midday. I seen these French vanillas and I thought, man, that would be sweet. In my middle, my midday iced coffee, I go to look in the box. This box was 24 of them. It was a brand new box because it was not there. I look in this box, you know how many I see in there? I only see nine of these little things left out of 24. That box was, had just been there for six hours. What's the math on that? What's the math? Is that 15, right? 15 of these got used in a matter of six hours? No. Not at all. Because if they got put out after dinner between 6 and midnight, there's only four people awake that'll actually are like working. There's only four people working. And two of those, no. There's only, yeah, there's four people working. Okay. And those four people, it's the middle of their shift as well, because they would be starting at noon and be getting off at midnight. Now, I know one of those four only has two cups of coffee, 
a day. So unless he put like four of these in there, which that would taste horrible with four of these in there. I know the other guy only drinks coffee like so-so. I don't know about the engineers. But still, four people, there's no way four people went through. And two of those people are officers. So there's probably some up on the officer's deck. There's no way they went through 15 of these. Okay, sorry, I'm just ranting about it. Um, but there's only nine left, and I took five of them for my midday iced coffee. And you know what? I'm gonna admit it. These right here, pistachios. Yeah, that's right. You know how long I've had this can? I've had this can for almost a month now because I just have a couple here and there. Now, a month and a half ago, we got some pistachios. And I seen, she put out five cans of them. She put out five cans around coffee, set the second coffee break at three o'clock. I was like, ooh, sweet. You know what happened? I came back when I got off, the, I got off work, like seven o'clock, cause I was on the day shift. Four cans were missing. One can was half eaten. It's a dog eat dog world on the ship. I mean, you got you gotta. If you see something you like, and there's only a limited quantity of it, snatch it up, or snatch half of it up, because people are gonna take it. They're gonna want it. You know, it's it's limited source resources here. Just like toilet paper, in parts of place. I mean, I'm not struggling on toilet paper on the shit but you know in these current times I guess this video might be after the times but these current the current past times of this outbreak of whatever you know hot commodities are hot commodities grab them while you can I appreciate you guys watching uh, check out the link below for my website uh, hit that subscribe button hit the like button I really I really appreciate when you guys hit the like button um, it really helps out. Uh, comment, question, I'm here all day. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. I'm out.